Hi folks, Marcus from Spotex Underwater Vision. Hope you're all staying well. Um, today I just thought I'd show you a quick video on how you can use your Pixhawk uh, flight controller uh, as a uh, GPS or data overlay on your uh, videos. So you can see just behind me here, we have got a data overlay um, from our Pixhawk and I'm going to show you all the parts you need uh, to get that working. So this is, uh, this is our setup here. So we've got a um, two cell battery going into a power module. Now if you haven't used one of these power modules before, these are really great. Um, they've got a, a power input. Uh, we've just got this connected to the, the charging terminal just for simplicity. Um, so that's a, a charging terminal there. There's a, a power pass-through, so you can send full voltage to LED lights or other accessories. Um, there's a switch terminal there, so you can use a, a switch to uh, turn the system on and off. Um, there's a um, power module um, or you know, power sense module um, built in. And there is also a row of... Um, uh, terminals here, uh, voltage regulated terminals. So there's two 5 volt 3 amp terminals and there's also a, a 12 volt uh, 300 milliamp terminal. Um, so from our power module we've got our um, power cable going to our Pixhawk. Now on the Pixhawk we've got that loaded up with the Artisub uh, firmware which you can download uh, from the Blue Robotics website. We've got a uh, Blue Robotics uh, depth sensor plugged into the um, I2C terminal there. And to get our data out, we're going to be using the Telemetry 2 uh, port. Now, we only need four cables from there, so we've just um, clipped off the two that we don't need. Uh, but we obviously need uh, the 5 volt power, so that's the one on the very end there. Uh, the next one across we also need, and that is our uh, that is our transmit cable, so transmitting from the pixel. We need the next one across, and that's going to be um, receiving to the pixel. Uh, the next two across we don't need, but then we need the uh, one on the very end of the uh, the cable there, and. That is our, there it is there, uh, the one on the end, so that's going to be our ground. So if we follow those cables over, um, you can see we've got our on-screen uh, display board here. Uh, now we've um, recently been using the Aeromax boards from uh, virtualpilot.co.uk. Uh, they've been really great. Um, we've been um, liaising with them back and forth. And they've actually uh, modified their uh, firmware to work directly with the Artisub uh, firmware on the Pixport. Uh, so it's uh, fully compatible and it all looks, uh, all looks really good. Um, so I won't go through all the, the pinouts, but um, basically you've got your, your four cables connected there into the um, Aeromax. Um, the, the documentation for the Aeromax is really good. It shows you all the pinouts uh, for the various um, uh, through um, through hole soldering pads. Um, we've got our video coming in. Uh, in this case, we're just using a little um, a run cam nano, uh, but this sort of setup will work with any um, analog CVBS uh, camera. And then we've got our video out going um, to our display. Uh, so if we go back up to our display, you can see we've got all our data coming through from the Pixhawk. Up the top there, we've got our um, heading and um, compass rows. Um, so if we move our Pixhawk around, we're gonna get that changing. Um, down in the corner, uh, we've got some other data. Now, obviously there's a lot more data that um, is coming out of the Pixhawk that you can um, overlay. Uh, these are just the data fields that we've chosen, but um, by using the um, Virtual Pilot uh, Configurator, I think it's called MWOSD. Um, again, it's really easy to use uh, and you can uh, choose a number of different data fields. So here we've got, um, down the bottom there, we've got 
our uh, battery data coming from the flight controller. We've also got pitch and roll data. So if we move our Pixhawk around, we can see we're getting data coming through there. And that's quite useful for us um, on our drop cameras and ROVs to um, trim and adjust uh, settings. And then the final um, data field there we've got is our um, depth sensor. So if we take our uh, Blue Robotics um, pressure sensor there and give it a squeeze, we'll see how strong I am. Oh, only two meters, pretty weak. But um, so that's it, folks. It's really easy to set up. Uh, it looks great, um, and that's the other thing to consider with. Um, your on-screen displays is they don't always give uh, a great image but these ones from virtual pilot are really great i uh, highly recommend them and um that's all folks if you're um got any questions um please let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching